All right, hello, welcome to a new series on the A Software Engineer Plays channel. We're taking a look at uh, TIS 100. Uh, it's a game by Zachtronics. Uh, they make uh, Space Cam and other great puzzle games. Um, this, I'm not sure how this is going to come across on video, but we're going to give it a shot and see how we do. Um, so this game, it comes with a, a reference manual, <laughs> which kind of intense. Not a lot of games come with a manual to teach you how to how to actually use the uh, <laughs> the, the built-in logic processor. But you know, it's it's interesting. It's a really interesting concept. So I do have the manual open in uh, Acrobat over on my other monitor. So. We'll go ahead and see what we can do uh, if I can figure out how to actually use the game. Okay. Self-test diagnostic. Read a value from in.x and write the value to out.x. Read a value from in.a and write the value to out.a. Okay, here's in.x. Um, here's out.x in a out a down here so we got to learn our commands let's see what we have here scrolling down scrolling down okay uh, we have ACC that's an accumulator um, then the BAC, which is a, temp a storage for temporary values in the accumulator. It cannot be read or written directly. Uh, okay, left, right, up, down. So that tells you to move uh, in the direction. Okay. So let's just step through and see what happens here. So we step, we move up and down. So 51 moving down. Okay. So Good, that worked for in.x. So we had 51, we output. So we're moving from the register up, down. Then this one moves from up, down, and this one moves from up, down until it goes out. So I think we basically want to copy, uh, oh, but we have a, Okay, so we want to move this guide, what, to the left? And then this will move mov right down, mov up, down, with a comma, move up, right, move left, down, I think. So... Uh, obviously, this is going to be a lot more steps because there are a lot more uh, things for it to run through. But let's just see if it works. So we're going to we're focusing on the A side because we think the X side is working just fine here. So uh, we're going to get 68 in here. Then it's moving left, so we see 68 there. So 68 is coming in on the right side. So we should pull the 68 and then move it down. Good. And then the 68 is working its way down. So we get 68 out. And you can see the X has been running a lot faster, but it seems to be working now. So we'll just keep on going. 83 cycles. I don't think there's any way for us to speed that up. Uh, and in fact, there we are. Uh, for the sake of my friends on Steam, I will blur out these names here because... If this channel does get big, I don't want them getting uh, <laughs> in 
inundated with friend requests and whatnot. But uh, so this is kind of cool. Uh, we gotta we gotta think a lot about it and how we move values around. Um, let's move then into the signal amplifier and see what they want us to do. Read a value from in.a, which is here, double that value, and then write it to out.a, which is down here. So uh, we need to learn about how to do math. So I'm looking around in the in the documentation here. So what we can do is we can move um, Okay, so I think what we want to do, we, we can move values into the accumulator. So let's do that here. First, we will move from up uh, into the accumulator. Then we will add uh, accumulator. Um, I wonder if that'll work. Then we will move from the accumulator down. Let's just see how that handles. So we're gonna move 66 into the accumulator. We've lost 66 now. So we don't wanna do that. I wonder if we can add the accumulator. Step, step. We can, excellent, okay. So then we want to um, move up, down with a comma between them. And we want to move up, down, uh, right, and then move left, down. Okay, so let's step through it. Double it, move it down, move it down, and out. Excellent. So that's what we expected. So now we're going to do the same thing with 34. And we seem to be getting what we wanted. 160 cycles is not ideal. So we can go faster. Um using more commands but maybe what we can do um, is I'm reading through the documentation here and they have a uh, jump um, jump commands so I'm thinking what we can do here is there is this command called JGZ which if I read through here it transfers the execution conditionally. The instruction after the label will be executed next if the, okay. So um, basically what I wanna do then is, um, huh. I was thinking I might be able to jump to a label and, move the, uh, with the value. The problem is the value might not travel. Um, because we can't, we have to move through the ports. So we can't get this to go faster. Um, uh, maybe the answer is um, just doing it multiple multiple times um, like if I put a label in here um, I think because these each take three uh, steps through um, you can see we're actually starting a new iteration before uh, our number outputs here. So we are gonna be a little bit faster there. And I wonder if there's anything else we can do. If 
That seems to be working. Um, it should be faster than our previous solution. By a little bit. Um, just kidding. Okay, so that was actually slower. Why was that slower? Hmm. Interesting. So instead, I'm thinking now we will um, divide and conquer in a different way. So I'm going to move this down and then move up right. So we can actually calculate the double. We can calculate two doubles here and then move them down and out, OK? So instead of here, we want to move up into the accumulator and then add accumulator and then move accumulator down, move up right, move left down. And also, we want to move up, down. And in here, copy this in here, move left into the accumulator, move up. Okay, so seven or 66 will go down, 34 will go right. All of the additions will happen. We will start outputting things. Everything seems to be happening in the same order. So that's good. I was a little concerned that we might get into um, incorrect order um, of output. Okay, so there we go. So doubling it there, um, we actually earned an achievement for having the two things happening at once. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm curious, I mean, we can also have one going, um, no, let's see, We the only way we could have, yeah, I think there's only, um, One way to, well, actually, um, let's just, for funsies, um, have a third option going. So I think this is actually going to get to the point where these get out of order, which is going to be a problem, but I just want to see if it's doable. So we're moving the right side into the accumulator, adding the accumulator, and then moving the accumulator down, and then we want to move up. I'm going to keep doing that to the right. And we want to move left down. So that will still work. Let's just see what happens. I think we will get things out of order. Let's see. Oh, no. The next value should be 182. Okay, yeah, so we did get things out of order there, as we kind of expected. Um, and there's probably some stuff I could do in here to make sure everything stayed in sync. Um, but I'm happy with my previous two, um, two solutions. Oops. Get rid of that. And run through it again. Hello. Why aren't you running? Oh. Because I still have one leftover command here. Okay, right, there we go. Cool. Okay. And return to the segment list. So let's do one more differential converter. Uh, segment 20176. Create a new program. Okay, read values in from in.a and in.b. 
right in that okay so we have to do a double subtraction here and then positive goes out there and negative goes out there so um i think what we're gonna want to do is um well we have to use those jump commands that we learned about last time and weren't able to use and that is okay so um let's go ahead and just send this um actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna send them both ways so we're gonna uh, move from up to uh right so that will then be a into b uh, move up left okay so then we want to I think we want to store a copy in our accumulator first. So move up into the accumulator, move accumulator right, move up into the accumulator, move accumulator left. So we will store our numbers and then move a copy to the um, opposite node there. And we want to then use what I believe is the subtract. So we want to subtract uh, left, or no, subtract right from the accumulator and then, oh, okay. Just subtract right. It's gonna subtract it from the value of accumulator and then we wanna move uh, the accumulator down. So the subtract command there, what that does is it subtracts this source. So it subtracts right from the value of the accumulator and then stores it back in the accumulator. So that would then be a minus B. Let me just put a label in here. Um, A minus B. Okay, so then we want to, this is B minus A, sub left, move accumulator down. So um, B minus A, we want to send out of out.n, so that works out really nicely. Move up, down. And we'll just move everything down. So let's see this work. So we're getting our values from our uh, inputs. 44 is coming in, 93 is coming in. So 44, 93, then we're gonna shift those across. Get 44 moving here, 93 moving here. Now we are going to uh, um, That's why is it getting hung up there? Move accumulator right. Why? Why is it? We I mean we're doing the move. Oh, probably because we need to actually. Okay, um, that's kind of annoying. I guess we can't have things just sort of hanging out here. Um, so let's use the save and swap commands. Um, so what save will let us do, let me read up on the save command. What do we have to do? Maybe I, there's also this um, no operation command. So we can get them moving out of um, out of step. So what we could be able to do, because, you know, an addition is, uh, what can we do here? We're going to copy, um, we want to subtract left and then add up, I think.
Okay, so let's just see what happens here. Um, so we subtract the left and then we add the 93. All right, so we have what were our, our ins? So 44 minus 93. Um, well, that's not quite right, is it? In dot a minus, okay, so we should get negative 49 or 49, right, yes. So let's see what happens there. 44, subtract the left, add the up. We got the 49 there. Oh, okay. I see the problem. The problem is we lose our value of 93. Um, which is unfortunate. So, I think we do actually want to... Hmm. I think we want to swap. Can we do that? Move up into the accumulator, swap, or rather save. Okay, so we step in, 93 gets written to our special memory there. Then we subtract the left, and we don't want to add up anymore. Stop that. We want to swap. Then move the accumulator left, and then we want to swap again. So, stepping through this, 93 gets written to the accumulator and saved. Then we subtract the left value, which is 44, from our number and get 49. We step, swap them back, get 93, move that over. It is going to do that subtraction. Then we want to swap it back, and we get a 49. And we step down, and everything seems to be working as expected. Yes, okay, it may not be the fastest solution, but having that little swap of the accumulator and the BAK register are letting us do this. So let's step through here. Uh, 354 cycles, six nodes, uh, 15 instructions. Uh, so right about in the middle of the pack in terms of solutions. Um, there may be a faster way to do it. Uh, I don't think labels count as instructions. Uh, they don't. So what else might we be able to do here? Um, we cannot access the value of BAK uh, directly. So um, we, we can't do anything there. We do have to use the swaps, I think. Um, what else might we be able to do? Um, Excellent question. I wonder if we get a value and put it into the accumulator and then... Uh, these things, I mean, they don't take... They could take multiple, multiple inputs, but... Um, I wonder. Let's see. Um, <laughs> so ideally, let's see, if we send a copy this way and a copy that way, no, we need to send it, it's not ideal. Also, it's not necessarily going to be any faster. I mean, what we could do 
is because we know they're always um, the inverse of each other is just move <laughs> we're gonna um, let's see so we're gonna move up to the left move up into the accumulator sub right and then move that down then what we want to do here is move up into the accumulator um, move accumulator down add accumulator twice move accumulator right and then move left down okay so if i got this in the right order what should happen get 44 in subtract it move it down negative 49 comes down we're going to move that there move the accumulator down so we get negative 49 going out out p which is correct then we add it subtract it we need to subtract it twice not add it twice oops sub sab i don't know if this is going to be any faster but it is an interesting idea at any rate so we have our one worker uh, not doing what we wanted to do. Stop. So what went wrong there? We got negative 49 in, we moved it down. Then we subtracted it. Ah, we lost. Okay, okay. Hmm. I see. So we need then to um, we're going to move it to the right and we're going to move from the uh, sorry, we're going to move it to the left. Then we're going to subtract left. Does that work? Let's see, negative 49 comes in, so we send negative 49 down. Then we move negative 49 over there. It comes back across. It does not come back across, okay. Huh. All right, well, let's store it in the accumulator. This is probably not ideal. Uh, If that wasn't obvious, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of code going into writing this. At this point, I just want to see what happens. Why isn't that moving? Why move accumulator? Oh, because I'm dumb. Okay, but we want to do that twice. Um, so really, let's move that into the accumulator and then move accumulator right, move accumulator right. Sub left, sub left. Is this the best way to do this? Probably not. But it works. <laughs> um, so yes, we uh, by far and away failed in terms of cycle count and node count and instruction count. So that's fun. Let's see, how else could we do this? Um, what other commands do we have at our disposal? We've got the move, we've got the no operation. Hmm. <laughs> Swap, save, add, subtract. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Look at that. There is a command called neg, N-E-G, 
which negates the accumulator. Well, isn't that nice? So instead of having all of this nonsense, we can just negate the accumulator and then move accumulator right. Amazing. This is why you should read the documentation. Now we're doing it at 240 cycles with six and 11 instructions. Um, I partially am doing all of this to make sure that I beat all of my friends, <laughs> which I have now done. I am at the top of the leaderboard, which is satisfying to me on a very deep and personal level. <laughs> All right, I'm done with this level and I'm done with this video for now. Um, this is kind of a fun game. I, I'm again, I'm not sure how well it's going to translate onto video because there's really not that much interesting going on on the screen, but it's fun for me. Um, there we go. Three levels out of the way. Um, kind of a lot to process uh, in terms of the simplified assembly language that we're writing. So this, I mean, in terms of code, is very similar to the type of code we have been writing in um, in human resource machine, because it's all low level jump, add, subtract type commands. There are a couple more nice commands that we have access to. Um, yeah, so uh, this has been a Software Engineer Plays. Um, if you enjoyed the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. And I'll be back for more of this, because I enjoy it. Um, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks again. Uh, have a wonderful day, and go out there and solve some problems. Bye.